cello. This is the beginning video on understanding the very basics of the cello on a staff when you're writing music. So this is a cello board and it's been designed so that there are three different staves or staffs and you're going to primarily be using the bass clef. That's what you're going to be using the first year. And this is cool because you can draw your notes on here. And as you, if you have any experience in music at all, or you've seen music, you'll notice that notes are found on lines and spaces. So, for example, this note is on a space. It's in between the fourth and the fifth line. That area is called a space. So I'll demonstrate drawing those, and this is cool about this board, you can draw on it. So if I'm drawing, here's a line, I'm circling the line, and then I'm gonna go in between the first and second lines called the space, space one, so to speak. And like, next line, now in between those two lines is the space, so I'm just gonna be drawing the notes on lines and spaces. And this is the notation, this is way, the way we write music, is on, on a staff, this would be the way you write it, so that you can understand what it is and what other, other people can read your notes and your song if you were choosing to write. We have our bass clef up here on this board. We also have our strings of the cello labeled, and our lowest string is the C string. So here's our cello, our big fat string is our C string. And then we go up a fifth to G, up a fifth to D, and up a fifth to A. So on this board, if the strings are labeled, and that's really nice because some, you're going to forget those. You're going to forget what the names of those strings are. Sometimes they're labeled in Roman numerals like this. So this helps you too in the music. When you see this, you'll know what string they're referring to. So um, on cello, when you start to press your finger down, I'm going to start on the D string. This is what string you'll be using at the first in volume one. Once you push the first string down, you're, on, you're going to be playing an E flat, and then it's going to move up in half steps, what we call half steps, up to the next note would be an E. Now, if you're familiar with the keyboard, this note right here is, is it's labeled here as C, D, E. Our music alphabet goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's no H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Okay, so, and this, on this board, I started with a C here, D, E, F, G, and then we start over with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, here's middle C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So this is a portion of the notes, right? So that's how notes would look like on a keyboard. So if I'm on the D string, I'm on, let's say I'm on D, and I'm on this D, it's just below little C, it's this D. And I go up a half step, the very next note I go up to would be an E flat. And after E flat, I go up a half step, the next note is called E. And then I go up a half step, the next note is called F. And I go up to the very next closest key, which happens to be a black one on the piano, is an F sharp, and et cetera, up to G, and then G sharp and then up to the A. And that's how this, this works. What you're seeing here works up here on the keyboard. And then what you see down here, so if I wanted to draw that D, that D would be found on this clef, this open D, and I'm gonna draw it right here. Here's the D right here, this D. And if I go up to the, that's a D, and if I go up to the next note on a space, that would be an E. And if I go to the line, that would be an F. So this is going D, third line, third space, E, F, G, and I climb up to the very next note line, and that's A. If I cut going, that's a B. I go up, let's go up one more, I'll add a little line, and that's C. So this is the notation of your keyboard, and if I demonstrate it for you on the cello, this is what it would sound like. If I go to my open D, which is kind of cool. This is so cool. What a fun instrument to be learning. So if I'm on a D, right here on D, and then if I go up to the next closest note, that's D sharp, and I slide up, there's E, and I slide up, F, F sharp, G, and 
And then I can go up to the next string is A. This little string right here on the top is A. And the next key is A sharp or B flat, B. I'm moving up to the next C, C sharp, C sharp, and then D. down, it means I'm starting to understand the beginning basis of music. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to erase this informally here. I'm going to be on a bass clef. I'm going to write what I just drew or played. So I'm on D, E, F sharp, which your teacher will show you, G, A, B, and then C sharp. I'm going to put a sharp sign in front of it, and then D. So that is what I played. And that's the very foundation. That's the beginning of what you're going to be playing in your cello book, the Suzuki cello book, the beginning. And your teacher doesn't have time to show you all this stuff, but this is what you're going to see on the first page seven here. And they've drawn, here's the D. I started with that. They've drawn the high D and came down backwards. But this is the D scale, and that's the D string and the A string. So that's, that's a good way to start out. You now understand a little bit about how the very, very basics of cello as you start. And I'm going to be sharing additional videos to show you how, how your notes are going to work with your cello in volume one.